Hi, today I am going to talk about watercolor quilts and how you blend your fabrics to make your watercolor work. So first of all, you start off with a whole bunch of floral lights and darks fabrics and floral is the best because they have the most versatile use. So when you work with little pieces that are two inch by two inch, if you end up having pieces that don't have big prints that have small prints, you wanna stay away from those because they don't blend as well. And you want your fabrics to have a blending effect. So try to stay away from smaller prints or prints that have very, very defined um, diagrams or, or items on them. So the best I use, the best I find I use are these ones that have really big floral prints. And you're gonna find that even on one piece of floral, you're gonna find that there's different pieces that actually work certain places in your quilt. So for example, this piece might work well in one spot, but it might not work well in another spot. So that doesn't mean that you don't use it, it just means that you can save it for another spot. So first of all, we're gonna start off with our lights because it's easier for me to start to the light to the dark because I find that I have a lot more light fabrics. If you want to go from dark to light, that's up to you. Some people work from the center and work out. But for now, we're gonna start from light to dark. So you wanna pick fabrics that are your very, very lightest. And there's actually a trick to some of your blending. And that is flipping your fabrics over. So you may think, oh, I don't have really many fabrics and this isn't gonna blend very well. But you'll find you actually have twice as many fabrics as you think you do because you can flip them. And I've done that in quite a few of these pieces. This one's flipped, this one's flipped, and so is this one. You can see it right there. So start off with your very, very lightest fabrics and you just start kind of laying them out and seeing how they work. Now I'm gonna show you how this one we can make blend a little bit better here. Same with this one. So see how it's got cream here, but pink here? It might work better just to turn it slightly so that the cream is up in this corner and the pink is down here, just because you want the lighter color up at the corner. Same with this one. If you switch it like this, because your lighter colors are over here and your darker is over here, it blends a little bit better. So all you do is you just continue working with your fabrics, adding in your your little bit darker colors. See how, look, I can flip that one. Same with that one, I can flip that one. But as you get going to the center, you wanna not flip so many maybe, but that one will be good flipped. And this one works well not flipped. And you just continue on working your fabrics until they move to the dark colors. And you can do the same thing with your dark colors. You can flip them if needed or twist and turn them so that they blend a little bit better. Now one thing that I find quite fun when I start getting my fabrics blending, I like to try to throw in kind of something that's a little bit different just to really make it stand out. So for example, I have this butterfly print and it's kind of a little bit different but I like to kind of pop it in there. And I'll show you an example here on this, this one. So I have some butterflies right here and I have actually some dogs right here and right here and I even actually have some little houses and pumpkins even. So what I do is once I've worked my fabrics and blended them, then I actually go back and I take out those ones and I add in just so I can kind of pop in some other fun prints to make it all cute and exciting. So give it a try and see what you come up with. And you can also blend the dark in the center and have your lights on the corners. You can also blend your dark from the very bottom up to the light at the very top.